Hi, every student. Hello, how are you? I'm Andrew Tan. I will be the lecturer guiding you and teaching you for the ACCA Advanced Taxation Malaysian Variant Revision Course for September 2020. Before I begin, recently I came across a very interesting book. This book is called The Art of War, written by Sun Tzu the original author. Inside this book, it says that if you know your enemy and know yourself, in a hundred battles, you will never fear the results. If you know neither yourself nor your enemy, you will lose every battle. Perhaps you will be thinking, what does this ACCA advanced taxation exam got to do with this battle and the war? You must understand that whether you're going to win or lose in every battle, for your case, that is the ACCA advanced taxation, it does not matter whether how many times you have received this paper, whether it's the first time, the second time, that is not important. It's not whether how smart, how intelligent you are, what food you eat or you don't eat. You know, just like when you go for war, it is not that how many training experience that you have, formal at training on military. It's not that what are the latest technology weapon that you have. All the most important thing is strategy. Yeah. In short, I just want to tell you, strategy will help you to pass the exams. That is why I want to spend some time just share with you what I will be doing in the month of uh, August, preparing you for September ACCA Advanced Taxation Exam Malaysian Variant. Basically, I believe, strongly believe in strategies. Yep. Whether you're going to pass or fail, it all depends on strategies. Just as what Sun Tzu has written in his book, The Art of War. I will be doing four things with you during the revision. The first thing is we're going to do, we're going to look at a lot of uh, many past year ACCA exam questions. Not only will we be looking at the question, we'll be also doing some analysis as we go along. What are the frequently um, examiners of favorite topics? And even if the question comes out, how the way the examiner approached the question. Secondly, we, as we go along, we'll be also looking at few of the examiner's reports. Just to show you one exam example. What do you mean my examiner report? Actually, you can see all these downloaded from the uh, ACCA uh, website. This is just one of the example that examiner report for advanced taxation. This is another one of the important documents that uh, you and I, uh, we need to look at it because inside it, the examiner will give a comment question by question as you can see why a candidate failed or didn't do well. What is the issue and the problem? Yeah. So the strategy I have in mind is as we go along question by question, we do the past year question. You may want to know that why certain student that you know supposed to pass is very hardworking, intelligent, but didn't make it. Well, if you look at the examiner report, they will highlight to you many uh, issues and problems that candidate in exam, they've done many mistakes. So for you and I, it's very easy to pass. How? Don't repeat the mistake they have made. Yeah, Never, never do what other people are doing. Learn from the mistake and don't repeat them. This is how the way we pass the ACC advanced exam. That's why I call strategy. Now, I will highlight to you during the revision course what the examiner has said, why a lot of candidates fail, what they actually write in the answer, and this answer is actually not correct. Yeah, this is not what they want. And uh, that's how I would like to look at it. 
the third one is i would look, like to look at it is on the technique of answering exam questions this is in line together with examiner report um, examiner has each time after the examination has completed being the marker is not an easy i can share with you currently i'm one of the marker but not for acc advanced action but for another professional body advanced taxation and um, each time after i've completed i have to write a report now what do i write i have to highlight what are the issue why the student feel why they didn't uh, what are the most common mistakes so that the future candidate taking exam please take note yeah take note that most of the time that you didn't pass it's not because you are lack of knowledge it's not because you did you're not hard working never studied but most of the time we discover that it's a poor exam techniques that means whatever you have written in the answer for your information that is not what exactly the examiner wanted but you might think that this is the correct answer this is what the question asks but the truth is this is not what the question asks so how to overcome this during the revision class i will go through as i said uh, acca atx past year analysis we're going to go through year by year question by question so as we go along i will going to highlight to you what are the common mistakes made by the student and what is the correct approach yeah, or we call it technique or method of answering question uh, this is very critical because as i said again and again sometimes especially some of you have been repeating a few times you might get discouraged disheartened after some time and you keep start to ask yourself what have i done wrong where is my mistake now most probably most of the time 99 percent is the technique of answering exam question which i would like to do it during the revision and show you a few example this question pass it is and this is how the way student write and marks are not awarded and you this is the way how you should present your answer and this is something that uh, very unique extraordinary special that not many uh, lecturers who have uh, this kind of experience in doing that unless he or she is a, a previously or currently is a, is a marker examiner himself or herself and finally i would like to look at the word uh, the hot topics that most probably will come out in september 2020 do you know the word i use is hot topic but not spot topic yeah. i don't believe i don't agree in spot topic reason is what if the topic that you spot and it didn't come out malay word called almar home die that means you cannot answer the question straight zero mark so what we're going to do is instead of four question we just study four topic we're going to study quite many topics and then what we're going to do is uh, some of the topics are regularly frequently based on the probability on a past year analysis frequently come out these are the topic that you and i we need to pay special attention and we need to look into it yeah and uh, that's why i call the word hot topic take note not spot topics just before i continue i just want to highlight to you uh, to those students who are new students who just take up this is your first time taking these exams now there it was a change of format on december 2018 I need to highlight because when you do the passive question you will be asking why why is not the same now in december 2018 the name has been changed from p6 to atx basically it's the same just the name of the subject is changed secondly secondly previously section a there's a two compulsory question section b we have three questions choose any two however effective december 2018 
now no more option that means section b only got two questions you have to answer all total four that means section a2 section b2 no more option paper okay this is have to be very clear that is why i say do not do spot topic yeah as a marker experience i can tell you we were able to know whether a student spot topic because certain part of the question we were surprised that certain candidate did extremely well they score high marks and then another part of the question zero mark that means whatever they spot come out they can write the one that they didn't read come out they get straight away zero yeah? so try to avoid this kind of uh, scenario what we're going to do is during revision we're going to try to cover as many as possible but those topic that we are covering i would use the word 99.99 percent .99 will come up what are they we'll talk about it towards the end of this um, video record let's look at the next one the what are the exam requirements yeah now for acca advanced taxation question one and question two are compulsory question one is 35 marks question two is 25 mark both the both also are case study case study means they give you a scenario yeah they tell you a long grandmother story and then the question always said the same thing you are tax associate and then another question they said you are tax assistant yeah and then they always ask you there was a meeting or maybe you there's a letter email come in you're supposed to prepare notes for the meeting and uh, instruction come from the audit manager sometimes they will use the word from your audit partner another year audit directors so the word keep changing and changing what happened that they want you to draft or present a report now look at the word report on the following matters and issue the question are very clear they will not get let you guess yeah write yourself no what you need to write in the report has been clearly stated but take note that this is a report if you can write a report format four marks for presentation will be awarded now some student think four marks only che not important wait 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 till the result release when you open up the email read the marks those of them who fall under category 46 47 48 or even 49 you will remember me what i said today these four marks actually is a gifts gifts mean you don't need to do anything it's given to you free so it is actually to help you to pass the exams so do not underestimate these four marks later when we do i'll show you what the in the examiner report what the chief examiner her name is madam yong siu chen she even wrote it down that candidate do not write a report format how sad and tragedy format loss just like that yeah despite is very clear four marks is given to you all you got to do is just comply follow the requirement and this four mark is going to be awarded to you easily now just before i carry on maybe i want to show you um, the most uh, some past year question acc past year question just to demonstrate to you what i have just said just now okay maybe i will just look at uh, december this is a december uh, december 2019 acc advanced taxation now i want you to look at the question ready you are a tax associate do you see this one yeah as what i said just now and now 
you are reporting to someone yeah and that somebody is your tax manager so you see normally you're the tax associate and then they give you an information you see that all this information and then below below you see the notes the notes the below part is they give you instruction what you have to do so the questions are very clear your tax manager see that sorry your tax manager as what i said just now ask you to write your manager ask you to write a report this is december 2019 let's look at question number two yeah, quickly we will not read the question we'll do this later you are a you are a tax associate yeah you see that uh -huh. see and then who are you reporting your tax manager see that's why it's important for you to come for this revision class because even before the question comes up we already know in advance we can predict correctly so that you don't have to waste the time read the question even i will tell you how to approach the strategy normally as i said it's a case study so you see the first part there are normally two parts the first part is all the information you see that all this these are all the information lengthy but not to worry actually it's not very long and the second part is the instruction after the meeting what you're supposed to do see the question are very very clear they tell you one by one what you need to do now at this moment i just want to remind you once again now this is this at this level advanced taxation is called the professional level and normally all those are p level they are testing you on the application of your knowledge we call it applied skill they will not test you on theoretical knowledge why if they want to test you on the theory side they could have te te test you on the f level or they call it now call it tx last thing is called f6 that level is the knowledge part so when you come to this that's why the question are case study the ability to read is fast is critical your ability to apprehend understand the case study in a short time is vital that is why i believe in strategy where i'm going to guide you how to do that yeah student complain three hours too short not enough time i said no it's the way technique know how you read how to read fast and able to understand and pick up all the points normally because the examiner already put in all the hints yeah, tips as much as possible to guide you so just remember that this is an application of knowledge in your exam do not write answer based on theory textbook that you read now i will talk this a lot when you see when you see the answer written many students they don't understand they just memorize I'll give you an example the question always ask about okay let's go back to december to on just to just to uh, demonstrate so that you can able to understand uh, much much better yeah just look at this uh, question is a you see the question always ask about um question about let's say why you know this question they ask you about income tax treatment tax estimate tax treatment now a lot of students do not understand yeah what they do is they've got a textbook they memorize the answer and then they exactly word for word they put it down the answer now this is not acceptable in acc advanced level answer will not be accepted because your answer have no reference or whatsoever 
to the case study, the fact information provided. So please take note, you must able to apply the knowledge. I will help you, guide you as we go along in September during revision. And most of the question, they tested you on tax planning. Now, what do you mean tax planning? That means they asked you to give advice, suggestion, which one is better? Should I use method A or should I do method B? Which one will give me the tax saving? So, where this is very important as we go along, I'm going to guide you also on the tax planning, how to minimize the tax. So, you need to know all the incentive, all the tax exemption. When you revise, when you read, this is the suggestion you must give to the client. And finally, now, based on the fact given in the question, you're supposed to present your argument, proposal, suggestion, give recommendation to form your own conclusion. How do you know that the examiner wanted this? You say, I don't know. Well, just show you once again a very simple question paper. Yeah? This is again, I just uh, used a December, December 2019. Just, uh, just look at this. Explain the potential issue regarding the proposed. You see, they want you to explain. When somebody asks you to explain, what does that mean? Give reasons. Yeah? Give reason why you say that. So the question actually, a lot of answers that uh, most students who didn't make it, if you look at the published uh, passing rate of ACC advanced taxation, is truly shocking. Yeah? I have many students come and talk to me personally and say that, Mr. Andrew, actually the question paper are not difficult, but why the passing rate is only 40%? You are right. Absolutely correct. Yeah? The question are actually not difficult. The failure rate high is due to the weak on strategy and technique answering question. Yeah. The means, what I mean is that when you write your answers, you are supposed to pr present your argument, give proposal, ideas, suggestion, and after you argue, don't forget to form your own conclusion. I have good news for you is that even though, take note, your conclusion is wrong, but because you have given, proposed, and suggest ideas, yeah, your point of view, marks will be still awarded, although you don't get full marks, but you still get more than half of the total marks. This is very, very important. We don't base on your answer wrong, therefore give you zero. Not true. Yeah. So a lot of people do not, as candidate during exam, do fail to present their argument, give proposals, suggestion, and ideas, and finally, recommendation, which is better. Okay? Uh, and finally, yeah, I just want to explain to you why ADX Malaysian variant questions are very complicated. Many students ask me why the question is so difficult, why the passing rate is so low. Not true. The most difficult one is only question one and two. In this case, let me give you a, an idea so that you know how to approach this question. Most of the time, if you read the question, the question will tell you that this company with a multiple business activity. Give you an example. It's question one, June 2018. That means what it says here is that, just show you the question. This company, his name is called AB. AB currently, what is the business activity? Investment holding, share dealing, and furniture manufacturing. Wow, three. Three. Not realizing now, the company AB now expanded aggressively investing in various involving healthcare, 
IT and green technology. Total, 3 plus 3, 6. You see that? Now you understand what I say? Why the question are difficult? Because the question has multiple business activity. And then halfway through, the company got manufacturing, they sell away the manufacturing business because not making profit. And the business is investment holding and then also partly sell away the shares, invest in this company and then they ask you, boy, is the gain in the disposal of share, is it subject to income tax? The one that I just mentioned just now in December, in June 2018. Let's look at the second one. Company diversify existing business. That means this company existing is doing product A. Halfway through, now they do A and B. Wow, getting more and more complicated. Yeah. Let's look at this uh, question once again, the June 2018. Just to show you, uh, we are not reading the question so that at least you know why the question are so difficult. Question number two, is about this company by the name of Star Manufacturing Senior Berhad. Star Manufacturing Berhad, if you read the question properly, they have been manufacturing surgical glove. This company is actually manufacturing surgical glove since first day when it was incorporated in 2007. What is the issue? What is the problem? The problem started in July 2018. Why? Now the company decided to construct a new factory. For what? They want to manufacture medical gown. Oh no, mamma mia. See that? From surgical glove, now become medical gown. Diversification. So, these are just a few examples why the ACC Advanced Tech diversify existing business. And this is largely worth group of company. Wow! Taxation on tax incentive group company where not only group, the company is also, some of them is listed in the bursa, listed in the stock exchange. And then this one, the company is having difficulty. Now the company want to reorganize restructuring do you remember this word m and a wow and then this another year 2016 this is a m and c also it's a group but the hq is in usa that means this one involved withholding tax cross-border taxation uh, international lucky non-residents uh, if they send the employee work in malaysia non-residents employee whether subject to Malaysian tax. And all these questions, they are stimulated, interconnected, and multi-scenario. Okay. Finally, just before I end for today, 